Ah yes, the butterfly effect. I mean, Until Dawn. The game that was free last month for PlayStation Plus. Are you ready for fear? Are you ready for terror? Are you ready for teenage drama? Why you better? Because Until Dawn is delivering it to you on a silver platter. Do you enjoy quick time events? And holding your controller still while your controller pulsates to the rhythm of Hayden Penetere's vibrator. Until Dawn is the game for you, my friend. Do you enjoy controlling the lives and choices made by teenagers that they almost immediately regret if you make the wrong one, just like all of us experience in real life? Until Dawn is the game for you. Do you enjoy having your thoughts and fears analyzed by Corporal from the Penguins of Madagascar? Then the Penguins of Mad Until Dawn is for you! On this godforsaken icy mountain lies a curse. A curse brought on by years of environmental destruction in the form of mining. Because the deep mines of this mountain hold a curse, apparently. The curse of the Windago. The Windago, you may ask yourself, or maybe not, what are those? Well, I'm here to tell you that, my friend. The Wendigo are a very prominent race of Aryan Brotherhood skinheads, and they enjoy feasting on the flesh of teenage actors. That is a subplot to this. That's a subplot to this game. Okay, that's the second. The first plot, though, the first plot has to do with revenge. Oh yes. You remember how I said earlier about about until dawn serving it up? It's a, a dish that's served cold on a cold mountain. Revenge, Wendigos. I thought this was a tale of teenagers that you you're probably not asking yourself. Well, in the beginning of the story, I did not mention that these teenage girls are cornered and killed because a prank that has gone wrong. It was just a prank, bro. They said it was just a prank. Well, this prank has gone too far. What a world. Hannah and Beth are killed because Hannah wanted to get laid. And Beth decided to go after her after she didn't get laid. And everybody watched and laughed and looked weird. These faces are so weird. They look like, like they have some kind of bowel syndrome. Anyway, Hannah and Beth both die falling to their deaths and nobody knows what happens. One year later, Mr. Robot it call, it hits everybody up on the cell phone and says, Hey guys, it's been a year since the tragic event that my sisters have died. Why don't you guys all come back to the mountain and we can all hang out, you know, like before, like before my sisters died. Like before you guys killed my sisters. You see, you see where the, you see where this is going? You see where I was coming in with the revenge? Huh? Huh? This game grabs your fears and pulls them to the deepest pits of your souls. Each psychological visit you have with Dr. Hill finds out, you find out a little bit more about yourself. You know, you find out that you're afraid of bugs. You're more afraid of bugs than you are of needles, or maybe you're, you're, you're more afraid of needles than you are of airplanes. Ooh, scary. They implement your fears into the game, making the game that much scarier. But, not always. It, it, it sometimes scares you, sometimes... There's a lot of jump scares. A lot of jump scares, but... Once you get past those jump scares, which is the main form of fear, the atmosphere is scary. You know, playing as a cis white male is scary to some people. To quote a famous hot boy, Gordon Ramsay, The game is only as scary as the atmosphere. Where is the lamb sauce? Now I know you probably have a couple questions like, what does that mean? You know, that doesn't really make any sense. Another question you might have is, uh, how do you know Gordon Ramsay? Okay, uh, I know Gordon Ramsay because he hangs out outside of my local CVS asking for change. Another question you might have is, well, uh, that doesn't seem like Gordon Ramsay because Gordon Ramsay, uh, 
he has a bunch of prestigious restaurants and uh, he doesn't need to ask for change behind the CVS. So I don't think that's Gordon Ramsay. Well, that is where you are incorrect. I know that, well, first off, I know I said that you said that it was a question. It was more of a statement, but... It's okay. He's a homeless person okay. and his name just happens to be Gordon Ramsay. So I wanted to clear that. Back to the main point, which was... The atmosphere is really crazy. The level design for each one, it it's so specific. You know, there's the mountain, yes. which is the majority of where you're going to be doing your traversing. Okay. The mines, they're pretty. It, that darkness, the caverns, it goes into different little sections. It's just dark and creepy. The lodge. off. Oh, fuck. There's so many twists and turns in this fucking lodge. Oh, jeez. The basement? That's just an advanced level of the lodge. With all these cool levels, there's one downside, is the gameplay. There's not much here. Besides a couple quick time events, or you're trudging your way up this fucking mountain, or you're pressing R2 and turning a knob so you could open a door, or touching your swipe pad so you could light a match, whatever you might be doing. The majority of the action gameplay is in quick time events. Or you might just be holding your controller completely still, which is kind of the opposite of gameplay. I did cheat a couple times and I did just put my controller on a little blanket holding it completely still. I didn't have to worry about the vibrations or anything moving it around. That's a little cheat. You want another little cheat? If you make a decision and you regret it too much, you want to go for that perfect run, soft reset your thing. Hold your middle button, close application. Before the the little butterflies show up in the corner, you'll be cool the next time you turn on your game. I know it's I know it seems cheap because it's oh it's not the way to play it, but you know, fuck you. You're gonna do it or you're not gonna do it. It doesn't matter. Oh what? Oh I didn't do it. I played the whole thing without oh you got a medal. Oh jeez. Ah jeez. Here. Moving on. Until Dawn has a really special place in my video game selection where it's not really a video game, it's more of a movie. I would say that the gameplay aspect is just a little side extra to the... I think this is how movies will be in the future, where you can actually make decisions. Hey, there are people are leaving cinemas left and right. AMC's fucking tanking. You never know. These might, This might be the new way to watch movies, I mean. Hell. I go see a movie if I could choose what actually happens. And the choices that this game gives you is pretty intense. You know, you want to snoop through someone's phone, you can choose. Hey, I don't want to snoop through that phone. I'm not someone who's nosy. Oh, I want to look through the phone. Well, now I'm going to be considered a snoop through the whole game. You know, you miss a jump, character falls, bam, fucking dead. They don't, they don't get a second chance. There's no, I mean, unless you hit that quick time event, and you grab that, that branch right before you hit the ground, you might get lucky. You know, you, you, you eat the last Totino's pizza roll, bam, get shot in the face. That's just how it goes. Characters are as likable as you want. You can make them salty little cunts. You could, you know, you could have them on a losing streak. You, you could be like, the, the, you are the god of these teenagers' lives. You ever wanted to control Dawson's Creek? Now is your time. It has a great story, and that you basically make how shitty you want the characters to be. If you want to like those characters, you make them nice. You make them do the right things. If you want to hate all the characters, you make them bitches. You know who I hate from the, f you know who I hate from the beginning, that one, that one girl with the black hair. What's her, what's her name? Uh, Emily. Emily. Oh God, she's such a like a snooby. Like, I'm so smart, uh, just a just a big old cunt bag with a side of cunt sauce with like, you know, some nice little dipping sticks, you know, just, and Ashley, Ashley is just Meg, that is the Meg of this story for me. Chris is a fucking, the kid from the little vampires all grown up, just, a, or the kid from Stuart Little, like, God, Chris. You got a weirdo Mr. Robot here. Whatever this guy's name is, he's just a creepo. You got Mike. Mike's okay. Mike, I like Mike because because this little part right here. Hey Mike. Mike, 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 Mike. Mike, what? Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? Okay. Okay.
even though this game doesn't have as much action as I hoped it would. The storyline and the choices that you could make and the way that you play the game is just so fun and intuitive that I really enjoyed it. And I hope that if you did download it or you did save it and you haven't played it yet, you pick it up and you give it a chance. I'm probably going to be live streaming this during Halloween. It's like, this is a good scary game. But I hope you enjoyed this. It's It's been a while. This is for the real people. Them real day one people. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Bye.